this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is the project hooked up with an extra meter there on your left. The meter on the far left is measuring the voltage across the cell, all four plates. The meter to its right is measuring the amperage, and the meter to its far right is the voltage on the battery. That's 12.32. What I'm going to do is bring the cell up to around 5 amps to bring it close to what everyone else is running their cells on so you can see what it'll produce at that range. And as you can see, we get a quite an explosion of hydrogen out. This is at 4.72 amps. I'm not even at 5. Notice the cell to the left. At the uh, meter to the left is reading 11. That's a voltage drop across the cell. And to the far right, the actual battery is running at 1193. It's really interesting to see the differences here. Now we're at 1099 across the cell. And you can see the amperage fluctuating 4.80. I'm not even at 8 amps. I'm, I'm not even at 5 amps. This cell is definitely producing more hydrogen than the other cells out there. Also, uh, an interesting observation here is that it's producing the smaller bubbles, the hydrogen bubbles. I don't even see the oxygen bubbles where I, I know they have to be there. But, I mean, it, it seems to be producing more hydrogen, a lot more hydrogen. I'll be the first to say that doesn't make sense, and I don't know what the answer is right now. We're at 79 degrees. You can see we've turned off the system, and we still have 1.18 voltage across the cell itself. I don't understand why we're not seeing the larger bubbles for the oxygen. I know the ha oxygen has to be there because when you separate the water molecule or change it over, you get oxygen and hydrogen. There we go again, and it's just a tremendous amount of hydrogen coming out of there. Again, on the far left, you're looking at the voltage across the cell. What I'm going to do is put a charger across the battery and bring it up over 13 volts. There's the charger cable. I'm getting, or I'm going to uh, get some kind of meter to measure the temperature of the water pretty soon. It's 10.56 in the morning on Sunday. As you can see, the voltage now has gone up over 13 volts. That's due to the charger. And we'll turn it on again, and we'll see it running. So at 13 volts, we have a voltage drop of 12.18 across the cell itself. 
and we're running about 5 amps. Remember the size of this cell. If everything proves out, we mount multiple cells like this. Is one way of doing it, or bringing it up to one larger cell. You can see we've turned the current off. And the meter on the far left is the voltage across the cell. Some would call this the capacitance. Again, the charging circuit there has brought the battery that I use up to 13.65. That would be about what you're running on your car. For the alternator, would be bringing it up about that much. Matter of fact, on my car, the Honda it brings it up just about 14 volts, between 13 and 14. That's close. What I'm going to do now is take the electrodes and put one in front and one in back before they were both in front, because I did had some email saying they thought that might change things. And we're going to turn it on, and you'll see if it does or if it doesn't. You're going to have to write down these numbers that you're looking at. Regardless, you can see how much hydrogen is being put out by this cell. There's a lot of reasons for that. Most cells that I've been experimenting with are putting out a lot of oxygen bubbles, the larger bubbles. This one is not. I have posted more pictures, still pictures, on hydrogentap.com. 